Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here with another very useful and informative video. In this video, I'm going to show you if you are facing the issue unable to verify apps call it. Then in this video, I'm going to share how you can fix this problem. So it's likely the app that are not from the official app store or have not been properly verified. So here are some steps to overcome this problem. You'll have to watch this video completely so that you will be able to fix this problem. So now let's get started without wasting any time. First of all, here you'll have to close this tab. And after that, first of all, you have to check the app source. If you're trying to install app from a third party app source, make sure it's trusted and reputable source. Sometimes app from unofficial source can create this issue. So after making sure that you are installing the app from the official source, then check that the problem fixed or not. If you're having still this problem, then you will have to reinstall the app. Delete the app from question and try to install it from app store or any official source. And after that, if you are still having this problem, then you will have to open setting of your iPhone device then here you'll have first of all here you'll have to make sure that you are using a strong internet connection if you're connected with wi-fi device then you will have to disconnect with that wi-fi and again connect with that wi-fi and if you're using mobile data then you'll have to turn off mobile data and turn it on again and check that the problem fixed or not if you are having still this problem then you'll have to scroll it below then tap on screen time then scroll it below tap on content and privacy restrictions then here you'll have to enable this toggle and tap on iTunes and App Store purchases and from here you'll have to make sure that installing apps, deleting apps and in-app purchases all three options are allowed from here. Then here you'll have to check the down require and after that here you'll have to turn off this toggle and check that the problem fixed or not. If you're having still this problem then here you'll have to again open setting of your iPhone device then here you'll have to tap on general then here you'll have to tap on about then here you'll have to scroll it below tap on certificate and trust setting and from here you'll have to create the certificate trust settings and you'll have to check that the problem fixed or not if you're having still this problem then here you'll have to again open setting of your iphone device then tap on software update and here you'll have to make sure that you are using an updated version of iOS 17.1. If you don't have an updated version of iOS, then first of all, you will have to update your iPhone to the latest version. And then after that, check that the problem fixed or not. If you are having still this problem, then here you will have to again close this tab. Then here again, open setting of your iPhone device. Then here you will have to scroll it below. Then here you will find the option of Safari. Then just tap on this. Then here you'll have to scroll it below. Tab on clear history and website data. Then here you'll have to select the time duration. Here you'll have to turn this on toggle, close all tabs and tap on all history. And after that, tap on clear history. And after that, check that the problem fixed or not. If you're having still this problem, then you'll have to again scroll it below, tap on advanced tap on website data and from here you will find here some website data then you will have to delete all website data from here just tapping on deleting here then after that check that the problem fixed or not if you're having still this problem then again open setting of your iphone device then here you'll have to tap on general then here you'll have to tap on background and app refresh and from here we'll have to make sure that the background app refresh toggle is turned on from here and from here we'll have to make sure that all the toggles are turned off on all the toggles are turned on from here after that here you'll have to again iphone store it and from here you will have to make sure that your iphone device has enough storage to install that app and here you will have to review your videos photos and pictures and you will have to delete all the useless and the pictures which you don't need and here you will have to scroll it below and from here you will have to delete all useless apps which you don't use oftenly then after that check that the problem fixed or not if you are having still this problem then you will have to tap on date and time and here you will have to make sure that your iphone device time is 
correct from here and then here you have to tap on VPN and device management check that if you are connected with VPN then you will have to disconnect with VPN and try again later and if you are having still this problem then tap on transfer or reset iPhone then here you will have to tap on reset then tap on reset network setting and after that check that the problem fixed or not if you are having still this problem then again open transfer or reset iPhone and that and then tap on reset set all settings and after all the setting hopefully your problem will be fixed and you will be able to install and verify that app on your iphone device so that's it from this video hopefully you like this video if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get my all upcoming videos thank you very much for watching this video